Last Epoch is an ARPG that's currently in development. You can pay 50 bucks to get alpha access and try the fantastic necromancy they've got going on. This video is about Last Epoch Alpha version 0.5.4.1. How it works is you've got five base classes. The Mage, the Knight, the Primalist, the Rogue, and the Acolyte. Each of these base classes can later specialize into one of three mastery classes. The base class of interest to us is the Acolyte. The Acolyte can specialize into a Necromancer, a Lich, or a Warlock. As of this alpha version, the Warlock is not available to test, but the Necromancer and Lich are. The Lich class is minions, but its focus is on powerful damage spells. The Necromancer, on the other hand, specializes in minions, and this is the mastery class that this video is about. Before you specialize into anything as an Acolyte, you'll be able to have three skeletons to fight for you. This is already a very good start. The skeletons are skeleton warriors and skeleton mages. These minions are capable of killing everything you need them to, so you don't have to help them much. You can if you want to though. There's direct damage spells that steal life from the enemies, as well as some bone spell that shoots shards of bone. So you can help them out by shooting these direct damage spells if you want to, or you can choose to run around in circles like a prick and help your minions by debuffing your enemies, which is my preferred approach. There's a curse spell that increases the damage that enemies take. Killing things will cause you to level up, which will provide you passive points which you can spend on your mastery classes. The passive perks increase your mastery level. So if you invest 5 points into Necromancer, you're considered a level 5 Necromancer. As you progress further in Necromancy, you'll unlock additional necromancy skills. As you use your skills, like skeletons or direct damage attacks or whatever, they will begin to level up, and you can upgrade them extensively. Each time a skill levels up, you'll be shown a magnificent tree with branches going in all kinds of directions. There's ways to make your minions more plentiful, or increase their quality, give them special abilities, etc. But there's usually some kind of trade-off. For example, Putting points into Brittle Legion will raise the maximum amount of skeletons you can have by one point to a maximum of three points, but each point invested will cause them to take 8% more damage. Later on you can put points into Deathly Ambition, which will further raise the minion cap, but cause the skeletons you summon to cost you life each time. But you can also go in the other direction and choose to have fewer skeletons but stronger ones. For example, the Dread Phalanx talent will halve your minion cap, but it will increase the damage and health of each minion you have by 40%. You can also choose to specialize in skeletons that deal physical damage, like warriors and archers, to the detriment of your skeleton mages, or in the other direction as well. There's a talent there that will stop the spawning of skeleton warriors completely, and just allow you to focus on skeleton mages. In the same way, there's also a skill that will stop the spawning of skeleton mages completely, so you can just focus on warriors. There's a path to all kinds of different strategies with this, and I really like what they've done here. The next skill you'll get is called Wandering Spirits. These spirits are timed minions that spawn in a very large radius around you. They wander around aimlessly, and they damage all enemies they come across. They're short-lived, but very damaging. Just like the skeletons, the skill can be leveled up, and it gets its own magnificent tree of potential upgrades. I upgraded mine to spit poison at enemies, as well as scare enemies, and also increase the duration of each individual spirit, so they hang around for longer. As a special bonus, you can also use these ghosts and crates to destroy barrels for you, which is a lot more convenient than having to right-click and destroy the barrels yourself. Next, we come to the Summon Wraith skill. This is unlocked at level 10 Necromancy. The Wraith is a timed minion, you spawn it in and it rapidly loses health until it perishes. At first I thought this was kind of a boring minion due to its timed nature, but I was actually wrong about this. Thanks again to the tree system, you can upgrade the wraith in all kinds of ways. I upgraded my wraiths so that they appear wherever I summon them, so they can be spawned directly on top of enemies. Then I upgraded them so they attack 30% faster and spawn in 4 at a time for the price of a bit of a cooldown and an increased mana cost. Then I took a talent that increased the mana cost further by 75%, but also causes a bunch more wraiths to spawn in. 
Now wherever I decide to spawn wraiths, I can have seven of them swoop in and mutilate whatever is pesturing me. Also, thanks to the passive skills to increase minion health in the necromancy tree, the wraiths also last a lot longer now, something like 15 or 20 seconds. Finally, we come to the Bone Golem skill. You unlock this at level 30 necromancy, and he's an alright minion. He's big, slow, tanky, and deals splash damage to enemies. I can't say anything more about the golem right now, because his skill tree is not available in the alpha yet. So unlike the other skills, there's no tree behind him yet where I can change how he works. I can just imagine the possibilities though. I'm going to score this alpha a 9.6 out of 10 for its necromancer minion mechanics. It's a lot of fun and a very promising system. I really like how each skill can be so extensively customized, and I also can't wait to see how the Warlock class turns out. If you wish to buy this game, be warned that it's still in alpha state and is largely unfinished. Something you'll immediately notice is the complete lack of ambient sound. It's really just music and combat effects. Many quests are incomplete, and the world feels somewhat empty. But the gameplay and user interface really feel top notch. I think this will be a masterpiece once the developers complete the game. Thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something useful, and I've got more necromancy content coming your way.